Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So just a heads up video, today the DJI Fly app got an update. Now it's a fairly minor update, but it does add one very important feature, some that should have actually been added quite a long time ago. And as you can see here in front of me, I've got all the different controllers. So this update is across the board for every type of controller, whether you're using the DJI RC, the RC2, the RC Pro, or whether you're using something like the RCN1 or the RCN2 with your smartphone. Now with your smartphone, you can just go ahead and update the app like normal. With the DJI RC and the RC2, if you don't see the update right away, if you go into your profile, go to settings, and then hit check firmware update, it should prompt you to install the latest firmware. With these three controllers, it seems to be a whole system update. With the RC Pro, however, I had a hard time getting the firmware to trigger. If I tried that method there, it just wouldn't trigger the firmware update because there was no really system update. There was just an update for the Fly app. So to get the update on the RC Pro, all I did was swipe down to get to our notifications. And then there was a notification there that there was an update for the Fly app. Now we'll just take a quick look at what's different here. Uh, if we take a look at the release notes, you can see it's added a display zoom setting that supports larger text display. And that's one that's really important. And we'll take a look at that here in a second. And it adds some other little minor features about before you fly and some graphical interface changes. So here are two DJI RC2 controllers. This one here has been updated. This one hasn't. You can see just how different the interface is. Over on the side here, we get some new information. Basically, that'll bring up your maps, where you can fly, give you some guidelines. We've got an option there for quick transfer, so you can access that easily. And there's a service button for getting warranty and service. But let's go into the camera view, and I'll just show you how the text size is different. So right now, both are at default. You can see they look very similar, but we have this new option if we go to control. You can see we have display zoom and we can put larger text. So as you can see now, the important information about our height, distance, camera settings, even all the display text at the top is significantly larger. It's not quite double the size, but it does make it a little bit easier to read. So definitely an important update. Now, when you launch the DJI Fly app on one of these devices for the first time, you actually get a message asking you which display you want. So you can set that rate from the first time you go to fly with this new update. But like I said, anytime you want to change that afterwards, you can go to your control and just select either standard or larger text. So that's basically it. Other than that, I haven't really found any other changes. I am going out for a flight later today. If I find anything interesting or any problems, I will make a follow-up video. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next one.